Okay, hey everyone. So this is just gonna be a quick video about the new Angstrom Square One. I'm bringing this to New York. Hopefully we can get this started, see if the boss likes it or not. And this is gonna fix every issue that was wrong with the original Square One. So the vault had some issues, um, admittedly the one I used to sell had issues, and I've fixed all of them with various ways. Um, it is a little bit more time intensive, but um, there are other things that save time too. And let's go through the list. The, the, the biggest difference is um, what I like to call the uh, Humphrey mod, no, Tran mod. Chris Tran mod. So there's the low mod, so why not? I'll make my own mod. So this is, an, uh, this is the original uh, Z-Man Volt inside. Uh, you see how there's this thing? Now a lot of people are complaining, not complaining, a lot of people have issues with this edge breaking because this plastic is very thin. It fits into here and when it's misaligned, this will shear off right there. It'll break right there. Um, let me see if I can find something to point with. This, so it'll break right here because the plastic is very thin. And the purpose behind this inner structure right here is to prevent this from like going too far. So if you were to completely remove that, so let's say if you didn't have that, the piece would be able to move out and pop. So the whole purpose of this is to pre prevent this from popping out. However, um, it also has the double-edged effect of breaking the piece. So we can fix that by just completely removing that top part. And if you remove the top part, the top part is mostly extraneous because if you remove the top part, this, it still won't pop out because instead of this part bearing the load, which is very thin, it it's this part of the foot, and it works just as fine. And just to further make sure that it doesn't break, there's a little plastic insert that fits these, that fits right in there, and it goes in here. And as you can see, it doesn't even touch the plastic. It's only there to reinforce this part, the very thin part, so that it doesn't break. And it doesn't pop either, so it can flex back and forth, and with this effectively tripling the width of the plastic and the adhesive reinforcing it this will like just just like that it'll slide around and other pieces will just slide past it with no problem because this part you'll see that there is extra space here so why don't we put that extra space to use when this puzzle was originally designed they had that top part and they didn't consider the breaking so this probably wasn't in their original plans, but after almost a year of use with the Z-Man coming out, um, that, this, this is one of the fixes. So making these is quick and simple. We can make hundreds a day. Um, trimming these is actually very simple. I just get like a trimmer, like I get some flush cuts, I grind it down with my Dremel. I can do it in like one minute right now, um, which maybe I should do just to demonstrate. So, this is how fast the, uh, the the Tran mod is. So you see this, you just trim it off, get some flush cutters, and just cut it off the plastic. So I cut off the top part, and I'm gonna cut it flat. And then, cut the middle part, just cut away the plastic. And then uh, we're going to hit this with the Dremel on the pole. Just uh, hit it with the Dremel to get it flat. And then we just finish it with a, a rasp or a file, whatever you have on hand, to make it nice and level. And all it has to do is just make sure that the clearance is uh, like two millimeters for that plastic part, which is as easily, it's super easy to put on. And just like that, well, I'll get a little smoother. Um, just like that, put that back in, 
to here, and you can see that contrast. Just like that, we put this piece back in. If I can hold on to these things. And this will just slide, slide around. And now it has, oh, wrong side. And now it has like triple the plastic width, so it won't break as easily. And that's the Tran mod, that's gonna come hopefully in the Angstrom V2. And that was fast, that was really fast. Hopefully we can do this for y'all. The next big difference is the holes are different, the glue is different. Um, these magnets are going to be in, in there even better. If you can remember my press fit video, um, tools changed around a little bit. The current tool is even better. So this is the old one. You'll see that like there's some plastic deformation and the holes are a little rough. This is the new one. And you can see how clean and the holes are below the plastic. You can see how clean and nice that is, and that's the... These are actually, like, super accurate, so the angles are dead on every time. That's another big difference between the uh, version 1 and the version 2. And uh, some of the reviews say that the magnetic ones are a little slow. I like the slowness for control, but I'm not really good at square one. Well, now that coating technology is easy, I can coat these to make them extra fast. Um, some of the coated cubes are really fast. We can use that here to counteract some of that magnet, that slowness from the magnetism. And I, I had, here's one, this is coated, and we can make it faster with faster plastic. I'm not sure if that's going to come in the final version, although it is pretty fast process, we have to see how it scales, and I'm going to discuss all of this with the boss, um, but these are the things that are coming up, hopefully, in the version 2. Hopefully we can offer this for sale. So that's the magnetic minx. I'm not minx. Uh, I've gotten too used to saying minx. That's the magnetic square one, and uh, hopefully I can get some people's opinion of uh, this. That's the tr that's the tran mod for the square one, and uh, hopefully we can get some more of that out. So just to show you again, these are little plastic inserts, and these they just glue right into here and they fit nice and snug right there see there's no gap whatsoever and it holds on so that uh, together this will fix the issues of the Z-Man uh, bolt and the version 2 is going to be pretty good um, I've sent one out we'll see how public reception is and uh, see y'all next video wish me luck next week